10 Signs You're Actually a Genius. Number 10. Introversion. If you like to keep to yourself, would rather sit in silence than be part of a raucous crowd, or think that an isolated cave in the mountains sounds like the perfect getaway, you could be a genius. Studies show that three quarters of people with IQs over 160 are introverts. The reason? While extroverted people care about pleasing people, partying, and are motivated by social standing, introverts concern themselves with how the world around them works and are driven by their quest for self-fulfillment. At a group event, the introvert will usually choose to observe and take in their surroundings as opposed to the outgoing socialite who will interject with any thought that comes to mind. The ability to retract themselves from conversation can free them from being overwhelmed by the demands of society and stick to their studies. Some of the greatest geniuses were notoriously antisocial. Director of 2001 A Space Odyssey, Stanley Kubrick, rarely made public appearances and was extremely secretive. Author Emily Dickinson suffered from agoraphobia, rarely leaving her home for the last 20 years of her life. And even the king of pop, Michael Jackson, isolated himself in his Neverland ranch for days on end. So if you think your social anxiety is unbearable at times, just remember, you're not alone. You may be in the company of geniuses. Number 9. Sense of Humor the class clown may not be as dumb as he appears. It turns out having a sense of humor is one of the main signs of being intelligent. Human beings developed our senses of humor as an evolutionary tactic to deal with stress and to cope with adversity. So it's not surprising that the funniest of us may be more mentally evolved. Studies have shown that having a sense of humor actually correlates more to intelligence than creativity, if only slightly. The inherent understanding of comedy and what makes people laugh is very closely related to rhythm and mathematics, and sure enough studies show that people who have a good sense of humor do better in math. Not only does sense of humor have an impact on intelligence, what kind of sense of humor does as well? In the journal Cognitive Processing, psychologists posited and proved that the darker the sense of humor, the greater the intellect. No wonder the Joker is always one step ahead of Batman. Number 8. Insomnia. This may be the secret to why owls are viewed as being wise. While common folk are snuggled up and snoozing, genius has come to life. We all know the legend of Da Vinci's infamous nap routines, but he wasn't the only one who said no to a wink in order to think. Many highly gifted people have insomnia and irregular sleep patterns in common. Even when differing in IQ, researchers have found that some of the most successful people sleep less than a full 8 hours. One reason may be that a genius has trouble turning their brain off at night due to constant over-firing of synapses and ideas whizzing around. A lot of creative people find solace in the quiet of night and gain a second wind once the world around them finally leaves them alone in their own thoughts. Scientists have also suggested that geniuses may be able to function with equal or higher brain functionality than most, even when not getting the necessary sleep. Number 7. Swearing. It has been often said that swearing is a crutch used by individuals with smaller vocabularies. However, scientists disagree. Their research has found that there is a link to how adept one is at swearing and their mastery of language. The experiments they ran tested people's knowledge of everyday words and compared them to their knowledge of curse words, and the results showed that people who had more expansive everyday vocabularies could also register the most bleeps. They also ran a test to see how many curse words people could rattle off in a minute, and then were given an IQ test. It was found that people who could think of the most curses tested for higher IQs. The theory that they gathered from the results is that people that swear often have a tendency to be able to express themselves more uniquely. Number 6. Smelly and Sloppy if you find yourself wearing the same socks for days, forgetting the shower, or find it impossible to keep your workplace clean, don't go changing to try and please us. You might be suffering from genius. Why? A lot of hyper-intelligent people are slobs because they would lose track of time while in deep concentration or put priorities like invention or experimentation in front of their own personal grooming. Disorganization and geniuses can often be attributed to their different way of thinking. What may look like a pig pen to the average Joe may make perfect sense to a genius. Creative types especially are found to have their own unique organization that may not match the view of tidiness the outside world has. The Renaissance artist Michelangelo, famous for the Statue of David and painting the Sistine Chapel, was especially unkempt. He rarely bathed and almost never changed his clothes. On certain occasions, he'd wear his shoes so long that when they were taken off, the skin on his feet would peel away with them. Yeah, kinda makes Einstein's lack of a comb seem rather normal. Number 5. Laziness. If it's a struggle getting mundane chores done around the house and even hard motivating yourself to do things you love, or if your couch has a permanent imprint of your backside, don't get up just yet. Sit back and check another box on the genius list. One of the reasons for geniuses being lazy is that tasks that less intelligent people fill their days with, such as errands and exercise, the genius may find unimportant or getting in the way of creation and research. Being lazy can also be chalked up to outsiders' perception. Normal people may take a lot longer to get something done than a genius who can put it off until the last minute and still come through with flying colors. This makes the normal person seem proactive and busy and the genius like a procrastinator. The genius may also be able to cut corners or find ways around problems that others can't. 
the laziness of the gifted is also attributed to the fact that they may appear to be doing nothing, but really their brain is on hyperdrive and they are juggling many thoughts at once. Why mow the lawn when you could stay in your pajamas and solve string theory? Number 4. Addiction. This is one facet of genius that you definitely shouldn't try to develop. However, we can't deny that there is a strong pattern of addiction in the incredibly gifted. One of the reasons that geniuses find themselves victims of addiction is due to the overworking of the brain. Geniuses have a hard time shutting off their thoughts whether they are creative ideas or irrational stresses of everyday life. This causes geniuses to find an escape via self-medication and has led to a lot of very talented people losing themselves in alcohol or other dangerous substances. Psychologists theorize that another reason that so many of our best minds fall prey to addiction is that their intelligence or creativity may be linked to mental illness. The number of highly intelligent people who suffer from disorders such as depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and anxiety is staggering. Number 3. Adaptability. Are you good at thinking on your feet? Do you find yourself able to change and improve in the face of adversity? Then you have one of the main hallmarks of genius. When faced with an unknown or unexpected challenge, the layman might crumble or try to fall back on the Rolodex of stock solutions. The genius, however, will thrive using their ability to attack the problem with unique tactics. The level of one's adaptability is directly correlated to their capacity for innovation. This is the reason that so many great inventions have come as results of problems that were once thought unsolvable. Adaptability can also help a genius rise above the rest when working in a group atmosphere, whereas a person with a normal IQ might not be able to take criticism or may be unable to let go of their own personal opinions. A genius will evolve through criticism and let others' ideas stoke the flames of creation and combine them with prowess. One of the reasons Abraham Lincoln is one of America's greatest presidents was his ability to listen to ideas from all sides, even the opposition. A genius can not only take lemons and make lemonade, but find other ways to use the lemons, like killing weeds and preserving vegetables. Number 2. Left-handed. Sorry righties, this one you can't choose. There has long been debate over whether or not your dominant hand plays a role in one's creativity and cognition. Yes, Da Vinci, Mark Twain, Mozart, and Bill Gates to name a few were all southpaws, but you could probably find a list of just as good right-handers if you tried, right? Well, it may not be all conjecture, as recent studies have shown that on average left-handers display right-brain hemispheres that are more developed. This part of the brain controls one's ability to manifest mental representations of objects and to compute and differentiate the spaces between things. Left-handed people also exhibit a stronger connection between the two sides of the brain, making it easier for them to process information. This connectivity may be a result of left-handers having to adapt to a right-hand world, thus being forced to be more ambidextrous. Why do you think most switch-hitting baseball players start off lefty, huh? Number 1. Jack of all trades. Are you good at a lot of different things, but lack the excellence in one particular area? Though it may be hard for you to choose a career path, the odds are in your favor that you have a little genius in you. Research shows that there is a strong connection between being well-versed in numerous subjects and higher intelligence. Knowledge of various teachings and trades helps one to think outside the box and apply something that would seem unrelatable to find a unique way to solve a problem at hand. Take, for instance, the Renaissance Man by Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci's intense curiosity for anatomy helped him to become one of the most accurate painters and sculptors of the human form. There's even a term for geniuses that excel in a multitude of talents, polymath. Some other famous polymaths include Aristotle, a philosopher, poet, musician, and zoologist, Howard Hughes, an industrialist, filmmaker, and record-breaking aviator, and of course, Benjamin Franklin, who was the ambassador to France, invented the bifocals amongst other innovations, and authored hundreds of proverbs that are still used today. So if someone tells you that you have too many hobbies, you might retort, Psh, you don't have enough. Subscribe for more videos.